So this is my day one planned release for Weathering Waves. I've taken it upon myself to do a lot of research and know the most logical way to take you through the game head on once it releases at the end of May. Just to be clear, this is all down to my own research or my own biased opinions. So please take everything I'm going to be mentioning in this video with a grain of salt. My aim here is to help you guys with some advice and get you people ready for Wuthering Waves day one release. If you guys have any more recommendations after this video, then make sure to leave them down in the comments below for everyone to see because nothing is better than helping others prepare for this banger of a game. So we're going to be talking about the pre-registration rewards. As you can see, we do have the up to 30 million pre-registrations. We currently are at 25 million plus. I believe we definitely will get that. It's just 5 million more pre-registrations by the time of the 23rd of May. It's currently the 4th as we're recording this. It gives you 20 free summons on the standard banner, just to let you know it will be on the standard banner. Next one is to be talking about is the Wuthering Waves interactive map. As you can see, it does show you all the locations of the waypoints, the towns. Later down the line, they will show more as we get closer to the game, I'm sure, or when the release is out, I'm sure it'll be filled out completely. So if you want to, you can use that just to get yourself around Wuthering Waves map once it comes out. Another thing I wanted to show you was there are currently open world puzzles that are going to be in the game. Again, similar to Genshin, similar to Honkai Star Rail, and even similar to Tower of Fantasy. There's a couple of open world puzzles that you can do uh, showcasing right here. During these puzzles, you can get the premium currency, which is Asterite. And what you use with Asteroid is you can buy Lustrous Tides, which is your standard banner pools, Radiant Tides, which are your premium banner pools, so like the event banners. Also, I've seen Forging Tide, which I assume is going to be your weapon pools. Not 100% sure on that one, but I am just assuming. My last one I want to be talking about is what I am going to be re-rolling for. Yes, I'm going to be re-rolling as long as we get to the 20 free summons. I will be re-rolling for those pre-registration rewards and for the characters I want. If I am going to go for a 5 star, I'm not aiming to get a 5 star, but if I do get one, I would like Kalcharo for his DPS. His animations are very cool and I do really enjoy them. The next character is going to be Verena if I don't get Kalcharo. She's one that I will want as she's a support character compared to DPS characters characters from previous games such as, again, Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Tower of Fantasy, all the DPS, early DPS characters kind of dropped off. So if we're going to do, I don't know, Seelie in Honkai Star Rail and she's kind of dead now, you can still use her. She's still cool, but she's kind of dipped in damage compared to what her Karan has got now. The damage is quite different, but I am mainly going to be going for Zhao Jin. She's the four star character. In CBT2, she was completely broken. She was high risk, high reward character where you would do more damage if you had less health. Yeah, it's basically you just don't get hit and you'll do it in it exceedingly amount of damage which is pretty crazy stuff so she's going to be my main character i'm going to be going for one last thing and it's for you guys to go to the weathering waves event page where you can get a free five star echo in game uh, you haven't up until the release of the game i don't want you guys to be missing out on this as it could help you out in the long run that's my early release plans ready for weathering waves hopefully it's give you some more information on how maybe you want to come across for when it releases i'm very excited hopefully you are too let me know in the comments how excited you are for the game because it's not long now but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next one